Hi everybody, thanks for joining. When I was growing up, my mother and grandmother were famous for their biscuits. All of our friends and family would come over possibly on a Saturday morning and they could get a big old batch of biscuits, a thick piece of bacon, ham, country potatoes, but the star of that party all the time were those biscuits. I tried for decades, honestly, to perfect those biscuits. Couldn't do it. I would watch my mother and grandmother just measure it by hand and throw it in and I'd say, oh, wait, 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 hold on a second. How much do you put in there? And they would just say, a pinch of this and a palm of that. Well, oh my gosh, I could never get it right. So I thought, if I could just some way have those biscuits and kick it up a notch. So here's what I got for you. This is the sweet potato biscuit mix. Oh yeah, sweet potatoes. This takes those biscuits to a whole nother level. So let me show you how it's gonna go. So in this package is exactly what you need. It is all of the ingredients with just a few little added things. So in this package, wow. So when I open this, you can smell the cinnamon, the cardamom, the nutmeg. So simply dump the one package. It also calls for uh, six tablespoons of butter. So what I did is I kind of diced the butter up. And what you want to do, though, is to make sure you take a fork and you want to start kneading and breaking up that butter in your dry biscuit mix. This is going to be really important because that butter needs to be in little pieces throughout all of this. So you got to work with it a little bit because what this is going to do is help create a light and airy biscuit. And so we want to keep working with it. I'm using a pretty big size fork here. My butter was still cold, so I want to be able to break it up. And so when I think about my grandmother and my mom and this biscuit on Saturday morning, I think about, I sit at the kitchen table. I thought this was like science, right? I'm sitting at the kitchen table, literally like this, watching them make these biscuits. I was so interested in it. And, you know, I would just sit there and watch them and study their hands and thought, oh my God, if I could just do that. Well, as you heard me say, not so much. They were professional at these biscuits. Let's just say that. So, I'm still kneading because we really want the mixture, the flour mixture now to be a little crumbly from the butter and how we've just kind of kneaded it. And I want to make sure I really get that butter in there. And we might have just accomplished that. I love the smell of this. That cinnamon. I'm already thinking about how good this is going to taste. All right. So we have made it. Now, what we want to do is to combine our wet ingredients. So in this bowl, I have about three quarters of a cup of sweet potatoes. So how I got this is I took two medium sized sweet potatoes, washed them, pierced them with a fork. I stuck them in the microwave for about seven to eight minutes. And then when they cooled down, I peeled the sweet potatoes and got the inside of the sweet potatoes here. I let them chill overnight, quite honestly. Um, and so I had them ready for this morning and I could get going with my mixture. So here's about three quarters or a fourth or a 
three quarters, excuse me, or one cup of sweet potatoes. To that, I am going to mix all of my wet ingredients. So one tablespoon of melted butter. Now we're going to add about two tablespoons of honey. Truly, you could probably add maple syrup if you like. I just prefer a little bit of honey with my biscuit. So we're gonna add that right here. And then we also still need to add some buttermilk. Buttermilk just makes it all better. So we're going to add a third a cup of buttermilk. That buttermilk is going to make these biscuits super yummy. And we're going to mix it all up. We want to make sure that we don't leave any of that milk on the side of this bowl. So I want to make sure that I get it all in there. Nice. Okay. So now we're going to take our wet and we're going to add it in with the dry. Lovely. Now we're going to start stirring it in. And you know when we get ready to think about kind of what we want with these biscuits I honestly I'm going to talk about some really yummy yummy vegan jam so I think I really want to get my hands in here sure we get it back in the bowl and then now what I need to do is I need to knead this a little bit out on my flour space here on my countertop and I've already cleaned the countertop just to let you know right it's got to be super clean so we're gonna get it out on the countertop put a little bit of flour out here because this is how we're gonna Get them all done. Spread this out. And we're going to take our mixture and we're going to go out here just like this. And it's still going to require though us to knead just a little bit to get even more of this put together. So not so much. We're going to get it done. And as you're kneading, I'm adding just a little bit of flour, not too much. And now this is where I'm going to bring in my rolling pan, just a little to lay it all flat here. And I'm going to make sure that I keep some thickness to this because again, I like a, a super big biscuit. So now we want to get the biscuits ready to put them in the oven. And in my dish, I've just buttered it a little bit just to make sure that they don't stick. I'm sure you probably could do drop biscuits if that's easier for you or your preference, but I'm gonna use what my grandmother used to use, just a glass to cut these biscuits. And we're gonna put them in the pan. Every time I smell these biscuits right now, I'm like, oh my gosh, the cinnamon, the brown sugar. I'm 
We've got a couple more here. We're not going to waste any mix. Trust me, we won't waste it. So what I'm going to do is I'll need another pan. So I'm going to take this extra biscuit mix here that we're not going to leave it. And we're going to roll it out just a little bit. And I probably could get two more biscuits out of that. So now I'm going to take my biscuits and I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. Halfway, I'm going to go in and brush the top with a little bit of melted butter. So come back with me and I'm going to show you how we're going to all put it together. So now our biscuits are ready. 25 minutes in the oven. And I actually about halfway into this put a little melted butter on the top so they're just moist and a little, got a little bit of crunch, a little texture on the top. And according to our guidelines from our packaging, as prepared, one biscuit is about 110 calories. So you know my mantra, be well and live well. So we got to make sure it's low calorie and flavorful too. The other thing that is going to set these biscuits off is the vegan jam. We carry, again, this particular brand out on the website. It comes in some very unusual flavors. So this one is Plum and Rose, right? Plum and Rose Jam. This one is Blackberry Mulled Merlot, seriously. And Strawberry Chipotle and Fig Jam. The great thing about these jams are that they are low sugar, have no pectin, no preservatives. When you hear the ingredients, literally it's like four things, right? It's not a bunch of stuff that you can't identify. It's like four things in this particular jam. The thing that I also love about this is you can use it in many different ways. So if you're like me and you eat yogurt, you know, maybe some plain yogurt with a tablespoon of this jam and stir it up. It is yummy. Again, one tablespoon of this jam is 10 calories. So here's to what we're gonna do. We got our biscuit. We're gonna put a little jam on the side. And so let's give it a taste. I feel like I'm about to like get blessed. Seriously. Mm. The sweet potato makes this biscuit super moist and it's got a lot of layer to it. I don't know if you can see that. All right, let's look at it. A lot of flavor. Look at all that sweet potato in there. And that cinnamon. And the mer and the rose plum jam. Huh. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Love it. So good. All of what I've used today, the sweet potato biscuit mix, the vegan jams, all by the same company, are out on the Honey and Company website. Well, I've gone back to my childhood today and had myself a biscuit and it just made me think about my mom and my grandma. Shout out to my mom. Everybody, thanks for joining and I'll see you soon.